Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to send webhook response to other application by using API by Pabli. I found that whenever a new webhook response is captured, let's say through form submission, automatically that response should be sent to another application by using API by Pabli. So how we are going to do this process automatically and effortlessly? For that we will have to integrate both of them and to do the same we are going to use Pabli Connect which is an amazing automation and integration software. Now what we are going to do, we have webhook by Pabli in our trigger. And an API by Pabli in our action. So we will be connecting both of them by using Pabli Connect in such a way that whenever a new response will be captured through webhook, automatically that same response will be sent to another application which we want by using API by Pabli. And to learn the entire process step by step, let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn how can we send webhook response automatically to another application by using API by Pabli. Okay, so let's start learning this process step by step. First of all, in order to create the workflow, we have to come on our browser and then we have to search for pabli.com slash connect. And when we do that, we will come on the landing page of this software. Here we can find two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are a new user, you have to click on sign up for free button to create your free new account and it will take only two minutes. Also, at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks to explore this amazing software. Because I am already an existing user, therefore I am clicking on sign in. After coming on all app section, we can find all the products offered by Pabli. To create this workflow, we are going to use Pabli Connect. So let's click on access now. And with this, we will come on the dashboard of Pabli Connect. So here we can find all the workflows which we create. And to create a new workflow, we have to click on this create workflow option given on right corner with blue color. So let's click on it. And here a dialog box is appeared in front of us, which is asking us to provide this workflow a suitable name. So let's give it a name as send webhook response to other application by using API by Pabli. Okay, so I've given a random name to this workflow. Now after giving the name, let's click on create. And as we do that, we can find two windows are open in front of us. First is the trigger and the other is action. So what are trigger and actions? Trigger and actions are the basic principles or the basic concepts on which the entire workflow of this automation runs. Here we can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can have multiple actions as we want. So the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is a response towards the trigger. So let's start creating this workflow. First of all, we have to select our trigger application, which is going to be the initiator of this workflow. Okay, so let's select the trigger application. But here we are going to select webhook because we want to capture the webhook response here. So we have received a webhook URL along with some instructions, which we have to follow in order to connect this webhook URL with the application through which we want to capture the response. So here for this workflow, I am going to use jot form and I have prepared this particular form which is named as subscriber form and I am going to fill up this form one by one so that the response should be captured here through webhook in Pabli Connect. Okay, so what we are going to do first of all, we have to copy this webhook URL and then I will take you to my jot form. So this is the form and we will go on settings. So basically after selecting the form which we want to use, we have to go on settings and from the left side we can find the option integration. So we will click on it and after coming on integration section, we have to search for webhooks. Click on it and now here in this particular field, we have to paste the URL which we have copied from Pabli Connect. Click on complete integration and here our webhook is ready. Now we will go back to Pabli Connect and it is showing waiting for webhook response. That means we have to do a test submission by filling up this form in order to capture the response here. So we will click on publish in order to publish this particular form and we can find that a URL is provided to us. So we will copy this link and we will open it in our new tab. And we can find our form is open in front of us. So let us fill the required fields which it is asking. First of all, let's start with the first name. So I'm going to use the first name as test. And for the last name, I'm going to use lead. Okay, so the name is test lead. Let's enter a dummy email. Test66 at the rate publitudes.com. This is a random email. And now I'm going to enter a dummy phone number also. Done. After entering all the details, let's click on submit. And here our form is submitted. Now we will go back to Pabli Connect. And here we can find that we have received the response along with the details which we have filled in the form. Okay, first name, last name, email and the contact number. So now we will move further. And what we are going to do, we are going to send this particular response which we have received through webhook to another application by using API by Pabli. So for that, here I'm going to use MailerLite. 
so basically i am going to send this particular response to mailer light in the form of a new subscriber i want to create a new subscriber by using this particular response for that i am going to use api by pably so what is api api by pably acts like a bridge and connects two applications okay and in that connection of the applications there is some communication that is we can connect both the applications in such a way that we can even send or receive data from any of the application by using api okay so here we are going to use in our action application api by pably and in our action event we are going to use post because we want to send this particular data okay so here we can find several options get post custom put delete or patch so if we will select get then we will receive the data from other application but if here we, because we want to send the data which we have received through webhook response to mailer light therefore we will select the action event as post okay done now here it is asking us for the endpoint url so for that we will go on mailer light developers website and here because i am using mailer light classic therefore what we are going to do we are going to go on mailer light classic api so i have opened this page now we have to click on this url which is given over here for api reference okay so let's click on it and and we will come on the api reference page so here we can find the api references of all the options so so because we have selected post here in action event in public connect so what we are going to do we are going to click on this post subscribers okay so we want to add a new subscriber that is we want to send the data which we have received through webhook response to mailer light in the form of a new subscriber so therefore we have selected post in public connect now here we can find the url is given over here so this is our url so we will copy it and we will paste it over here in endpoint url field done now what now the next what we are going to do we have to keep this payload type as json and because wrap request and array is not required in this particular workflow so i am keeping it as no so you can also keep it as yes okay the next is authentication now in our authentication we are going to select no auth and what we are going to do we are going to click on this headers and here in the label and value we are going to enter some value what will be that value for that first of all we will go again on the subscriber section and here from this default section we have to copy this particular header of api key okay so we will copy this it is x mailer light api key so we will copy it and we will paste it over here in the label section okay after that in the value we are going to paste the api key which we will get from mailer light classic account Okay, so for that we will go on mailer light classic account and under that we have to go on integration section from the top right corner and here we can find developer api so we will click on use and here we can find our api key is given over here so we will copy it and we will paste it over here so we have pasted our api key and here in the authentication we have used no auth so why we have done this we receive api key from mailer light and in order to use this particular api key in public connect what we have to do we have to use this particular label and therefore we have keep no auth here and in the value we have used the api key from mailer light okay now we will set the parameters here you can set the parameters as you want for that we will again go on subscriber section and here we can find that body parameters are given over here so we can use either email name fields resubscribe type etc in order to enter the fields in parameters for now i am going to use email as one of the parameters so we have to enter email in label and then in the value we have to map the email so we will map the email by using webhook response so this is the email given over here so we have mapped it so why we are mapping the data instead of entering it manually because we want that automatically this field should be replaced every time a new response is received but if we will enter the data manually then that data will become static and it will not get changed with every new response therefore we use the step of mapping here okay so in first label we have added email and we can add one more label here by clicking on this plus sign so here i am going to enter type and in the value for type i'm going to give active and i want that only the active subscriber should be added in mailer light okay so so the response whose type will be active will be added in mailer light otherwise not okay so here from this minus and plus sign you can add or delete any of the field over here from according to your choice for adding parameters okay now we will simply click on save and send test request 
and we can find that we have received the response along with the id of the subscriber and the type of that particular subscriber is active so we will go back on our mailerlite account and we will check for a new subscriber there so we will go on the subscriber section on mailerlite account and we can find that yes a new subscriber is created over here with the email as test66 at the rate pablitudes.com so we will open it and we can find that the status of the subscriber is active okay so that means our workflow is perfectly successful now we will go back on public connect and we will summarize what we have done in this workflow so basically we have taken two steps here trigger and action in trigger we have taken webhook and in action we have taken api by pably and we have connected both of them in such a way that now whenever a new webhook response will be captured in pably connect automatically that response will be sent to another application by using api by pably okay so here you can take any other application which you want for example i have taken jotform for capturing webhook response and mailerlite for sending the webhook response through api by pably so here in the same manner we can connect any other application by using this automation now this was it in this video i hope this was helpful for you thank you for watching not only these applications but you can easily integrate many other applications by using pably connect now if you have any doubt you can easily email us at support at the rate pably.com if you want to ask any query you can easily reach out to us at forum.pably.com and if you are having any pricing related issue with pably connect you can easily reach out to the website given over here now if you find this video helpful in any way do not forget to share it with your friends and also please like our videos and subscribe to our channel to learn more such automation